oil spill in Gulf of Mexico. The Deepwater Horizon oil spill began on 20th April 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico on the BP-operated Mocado Prospect. 11 people went missing and were never found and it is considered the largest accidental marine oil spill in the history of the petroleum industry an estimated 8% to 31% larger in volume than the previously largest, the Axstock 1 oil spill. Causes The Deepwater Horizon was a 10-year-old semi-submersible, mobile, floating, dynamically positioned drilling rig that could operate in waters up to 3,000 metres deep. At approximately 9.45 pm CDT, on 20th April 2010, high pressure or methane gas from the well expanded into the drilling riser and rose into the drilling rig, where it ignited and exploded, engulfing the platform. At the time, 126 crew members were on board, 7 BP employees, 79 Transocean and employees of various other companies. The deep water horizon sank on the morning of 22nd April 2010. Effects and Impacts The oil leak was discovered on the afternoon of 22nd April 2010 when a large oil slick began to spread at the former rig site. The oil flowed for 87 days. The total estimated volume of leaked oil approximated 4.9 million barrels, 210 million US gallons. 7,80,000 meter cube. With plus or minus 10% uncertainty, including oil that was collected, making it the world's largest accidental spill. According to the satellite images, the spill directly impacted 1,80,000 km square of ocean. By early June 2010, oil had washed up on 201 km of Louisiana's coast and along the Mississippi. Florida and Alabama coastlines. Oil sludge appeared in the intracoastal waterway and on Pensacola Beach and the Gulf Islands National Seashore. In late June, oil reached Gulf Park Estates. Its first appearance in Mississippi in July, tar balls reached Grand Isle and the shores of Rake Port Trash Train. In September, a new wave of oil suddenly coated 26 kilometers of Louisiana coastline and marshes west of Mississippi River. In October, weathered oil reached Texas. By July 2011, about 790 kilometer of coastline in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama and Florida have contaminated by oil and a total of 1,728 kilometers had been oiled since the spill again. After the well was captured, the cleanup of shore became the main task of the response works. Two main types of affected coast were sandy beaches and marshes. On beaches, the main techniques were sifting sand, removing tar balls and digging out tar mats manually or by using mechanical devices. For marshes, techniques such as vacuum and pumping, low-pressure flush vegetation cutting and blower mediation were used. The spill area hosts 8,332 species, including more than 1,270 fish, 604 polychaetes, 218 birds, 1,456 mollusks, 1,503 crustaceans, 4 sea turtles and 29 marine mammals. Between May and June 2010, the spill waters contained 40 times more polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, than before the spill. PAHs often linked to oil spills and include carcinogens and chemicals that pose various health risks to humans and marine life. The PAHs were most concentrated near Louisiana coast, but levels also jumped two to three fold in areas of Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. PAHs can harm marine species directly and microbes used to consume the oil can reduce marine oxygen levels. Methane contained in the oil can potentially suffocate marine life and create dead zones 
where oxygen is depleted. 